Guys, good morning from Sydney, Australia. From in front of a building you most certainly recognize, one of the most iconic buildings in this country and really around the world, Sydney's famous opera house celebrating 50 years. And in celebration, we got an inside look. This weekend, one of the world's most iconic buildings in the world celebrates five decades, and they're doing it in style, opening up Sydney's famed opera house perched on Benelong Point to the public. And while we were in town, we got a peek inside with tour guide Bella Anwar. You couldn't pick a more dramatic location for an architectural masterpiece, originally designed by Danish architect Jorn Utsen. No matter what you're doing here in the Sydney Opera House, have a close relationship with that beautiful harbour water outside. It's almost like you were climbing a cliff on Sydney Harbour. Back in the 1950s, this was the site of a train station. Really? Yes. It was right here. It got right to you. Yep. A tram <laughs> depot had this view. A worldwide contest was held. Utsen's design was deemed too costly, too complex. 14 shells, nearly a million tiles, a mammoth project. As political drama ensued and money ran out, construction halted. In all, it would take a staggering 14 years and more than $100 million. Oh, wow. Yeah, just imagine the queen at the opening of the house doing her royal way. Spectacular. On October 20th, 1973, a young Queen Elizabeth opened the building. These days, about 11 million people visit a year, and at the centerpiece, the concert hall, where we meet Fiona Winning, who headed up the anniversary planning. It's wonderful when those people choose to come inside and we can welcome them and offer them something that's relevant, and it's often a wow moment. I mean, every room is a wow moment. Every yeah. hallway is yeah. a wow moment. As yeah. we were walking around, you turn a corner and the thoughtful details completely blow you away. She was there when Nelson Mandela spoke outside on the steps. And I remember coming down and thinking, oh my God, this is fantastic. It's an important as an, opera, uh, as an opera house. It's important as a home of symphonic music. And it's also important as a space for contemporary ideas. The massive white sails, a beacon in the city centre beaming in solidarity with major events. From the deadly bushfires to when Australia voted yes to marriage equality. And this weekend, a laser show and huge crowds honouring 50 years of the People's House. Molly Hunter, NBC News. Our thanks to Molly for that one. Very cool. Yeah, such a spectacular place for anybody who ever gets a chance to go down on. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.